Got this little fella on a spinnerbait. Oh, oh, that's a nice fish right there. Come on, come on. He hit that, so I was about to pull it up over the weeds. Well, good morning and welcome back to another one. We are headed to Windsor today. We've got an appointment. Then we're going to try and do some fishing, ditch fishing. But we are uh, kind of covered in smoke here. Uh, as you know, I'm in southwestern Ontario. and We've got a lot of wildfires going on in northern Ontario. Actually, mid-Ontario as well as northern Ontario. But if you just look outside here, I don't know if, if the camera picks it up or not, but we got quite a haze going on. Anyway, first things first, got to get a coffee. Then we're going to head to Windsor. Oh, yeah, you can really see the smoke now when you get to the top of the overpass. Oh, by the way, the coffee... It always comes from Flying J. And no, they don't sponsor me. But they should. See y'all in a minute. Oh, there we go. Right off the hop. What do we got? Oh, we spit it. That was a small bass. Good hit there. Come on. There we go. He took it that time. All right, come on. Little bass. Not bad. Good color. You hit that a couple of times before you decided you wanted to commit. Hit that as soon as it hit the water. I didn't believe that. He's just a little fella. He didn't get a chance to start reeling that one. Oh, guy. I don't know that you can see them, but I can see the weeds just under the surface. I'm trying to work the spinnerbait over top of the weeds. That didn't work out too well that time. Not at all. Well, I decided to make things difficult for myself. flip-flops we have to throw it from up here There we go. Oh, we got him now. Oh, we had him. He let go. 
He's got commitment issues. I missed him. How did I miss him? That's twice. I pulled it away from him twice. He took off with it, but I'm actually gonna let him have it this time. You can't see him hit it because he's behind that little bush down there, but. I'm gonna make him come out of the bushes. Nope, he didn't wanna come that far out. Oh, he came back and Hammered it and then left. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's thinking. That's four hits from that one fish. Come and get it and take it. You can run. This guy's got some commitment issues. smacked that as soon as it hit the water oh and he spit it out come on now I'll go back to this guy here and see if he wants it again No, we're gonna throw something else at him here. Hang on, we're not done yet. We are not done. Well, he didn't want that spinner bait either. Oh. Oh, he's on. Is he on? Oh, he just kept back coming back. Oh, he hit it again. There we go. Nope. He's got some commitment issues, that guy. Some serious commitment issues. Either he thinks he's bigger than he really is. I don't think it shows up on camera, but I can see the flash. <laughs> Look at that, right as soon as it hit the water. I right, got you now this time, fella. Come on. There you go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Finally. Whew, it's been a struggle. Got this little fella on a spinnerbait. Not sure how many casts I was playing with him, but it was a few. Oh, another hit right off the hop. He's still, he beating on that thing all the way in. So a lot of times, you get a hit on one lure, and they miss it more than, you know, 
three or four times, throw something different, they might take it. This guy down in front of me is not interested. And as soon as it hit the water, he grabbed it. There he is again. That's a nice fish right there. Come on, come on. He hit that just as I was about to pull it up over the weeds. Nice. Nice ditch bass right there. Look at the color on him. That is a nice fish. Now, I've not fished this spot before. It's been uh, pretty covered up with weeds, which is why I was going with the spin or the uh, frog at first. Oh, that was a major hit. He came from a ways away and then just decided he didn't want it anymore, so he thought he'd spit it out. Another one right at the bottom. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that is an even bigger fish. Holy cow. Look at that guy. He's probably pushing two pounds, two and a half pounds. That is a big fish. All I'm doing is slow rolling that right above the bottom. There's about a foot and a half of water in here. In this section, there's very few weeds, which is good. And the water's clean. I can see the blades flashing. I saw that last one come from all the way to the other side of the ditch. There he is. Come on. Oh, that's a nice one, too. Come on. Come on. Oh, he spit it. They are not hanging on for some reason. It might be my hook set. I'm going to try this guy down in front of us again. He's still sitting down here at the bottom. No, he says no thank you. He held up a sign. Okay, we set the hook on that guy. Come on. Another one. Don't ever underestimate your local ditches. You never know 
what's in them now we are getting later on in the evening here so I'm guessing the bite might turn on even a little more Right at the rocks. We found the spot. We found the spot. Nice. Spinnerbait getting it done tonight. Oh, 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 there he goes. We got him again. Oh, my little fella. He thought he was bigger than what he really was. A little bigger than the last guy, though. Hold on, fella. I got you. I got you. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. cool thing is and I don't know that it shows up on camera but this water is clear oh there he is oh twice he's a male he's got commitment issues he wasn't very big he's just a little fellow Oh, oh, he got it now. Oh, there we go. He committed that time. Oh, <laughs> all right. I guess I called that one too soon. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, I got you now. There we go. His friend wasn't so shy. He committed. Nice. You know, it's funny. I stop along all these side roads, pull my fishing rod, and people drive by and they look at me like, what is this guy doing? And they have no idea. I do know though that next time out, I'm probably gonna start here and go from here elsewhere. Isn't this something? This one spot in this ditch producing all those fish. This reel is an Abu Garcia Black Max. It's the uh, first base caster I ever owned. And uh, it has seen better days. It's time for, well, I got newer Black Maxes and I really like them, easy to cast. But if I retire this one, I gotta get another one and just don't tell my wife. The bite might have just quit. 
that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. I would have to say, I think we found the fish. So with that, we're gonna bring this video to a close. And remember, get outside and enjoy the outdoors. Later.